Look, I am one of the YouTubers that will come online and admit when they fuck up. But today is not going to be one of those days, but I'm going to address a potential fuck up that I might have made about the NBA this season. And that is obviously by the title, the Denver Nuggets and Nikola Jokic. Now, before the season started, I made my standings predictions about the West and the East, and numerous people were upset that I left the Denver Nuggets out of the playoffs. And by the looks of the season so far, I look like a freaking idiot. Because let's be real here, if anybody was going to win the MVP right now you have numerous candidates Blake Griffin Anthony Davis but the other candidate that more than likely could and possibly should win it is Nikola Jokic I mean he is putting up numbers across the board that are ridiculous I mean this is one of the greatest stat lines that I have ever seen from any big man he can maintain this level of consistency and the Nuggets can play defense at this level consistently for the rest of the season man they are a dangerous team I mean Nikola Jokic so far in the past four games has averaged 23 points just under 11 rebounds seven assists flat two steals a block while shooting 61 yes 61 percent from the field 50 percent from three and 82 percent from the free throw line and keep in mind that this is a guy who's only playing 30 minutes a game yes 30 minutes a game now one of the reasons that i thought the denver nuggets would not make the playoffs or should i say the primary reason is because of their defense jamal murray is not a great defender gary harris is not a great defender and that leaves a bad defensive backcourt their only real defensive piece that can play it at an average level or at least i should say a respectable level is paul Millsap, and he's aging and he's not the defender that he used to be or should i say even player that he used to be and nikola Jokic, who is their best player there's a reason that he's only playing 30 minutes a game his conditioning is not very good and on the defensive side of the ball he's arguably the worst defender in the entire league so i just really look at all the factors and all the you know variables on this team and I just had to come to the conclusion that they were just not going to make the playoffs. I mean, a lot of people were high on the Nuggets last season, and it literally came down to the last game of the year against the Minnesota Timberwolves for them to get a playoff opportunity, or should I say playoff spot, and they lost. So when it comes to the Denver Nuggets, I will still give them the side eye. I am not wrong yet because it is only four games in and yes, Jokic looks amazing. They beat the Warriors and aside from the Sacramento Kings, ironically, they have held every single team that they have played under 100 points. So I give the Nuggets their props on the defensive side of the ball. They're getting it done. And if you look at a lot of the players that they've played against, a lot of the players have struggled against this team. So I definitely do give them props for what they've done on the defensive side of the ball because they have needed some level of consistency on that side of the ball basically ever since they have created this team with Jokic Murray and also with Gary Harris but at the end of the day like I said it is only four games in and Jokic has a little history when it comes to injuries as last season he missed some time off with the injury and I wouldn't be shocked if he missed some time off again with an injury even though offensively he has definitely taken a leap his efficiency has gone up even though like i said i will preference all these comments by saying again it is only four games because a lot of people are rushing on me and saying mustard bro you're wrong about the nuggets you were wrong you slept on them look i get it they have come to a great start but numerous teams have started off great last year the clippers started off phenomenal Blake Griffin hit the buzzer beater against Portland and all that. Everybody was hyped about Blake. They were saying, oh, they're better without Chris Paul and all that. But yeah, we all saw how that ended. And another thing that people have to consider when it comes to the Nuggets, look, I get it. You know, it is phenomenal what Jokic did. I mean, he had in 30 minutes, basically, a perfect triple-double. That is ridiculous. That is one of the greatest things that I have ever seen on the basketball court. But when you look at some of these teams that the Nuggets have played, yeah, it doesn't look too good. They played the Clippers. They played the Suns, they played the Warriors, and they played the Kings. Let's be real here. Three out of those four teams didn't make the playoffs last season, and I don't think they're making it this season. And yes, they beat the Warriors, but let's be real. I don't care who you put on the Nuggets to defend Kevin Durant. He's not going to shoot 36% from the field and miss all four of his three-point attempts. That's just not going to happen next time. So I understand that they have some hype, and Jokic has balled out 
at a phenomenal level, all NBA level. One of the best players in the league right now is Nikola Jokic, and he is among the 10 best players so far in this NBA season, based on his performance, of course. But you gotta look at all the aspects when it comes to the Denver Nuggets. They've played teams that realistically speaking are not making any playoff aspirations. And though they did beat the Golden State Warriors, when KD's shooting below 40% and Draymond's only attempting four field goals and shooting 25%, I mean, let's just call it what it is. They're not beating a team like the Golden State Warriors the next time they face them because those things are just not going to happen routinely on a consistent level. So at the end of the day, when it comes to this team, I gotta give props to Jokic. I'm giving props to Gary Harris because Gary Harris as well, I think a lot of people are sleeping on what he's done so far in the season. And Jamal, Jamal, Jamal Murray. Even though he isn't performing that well so far, I definitely expect him to take a jump this season. I definitely think he is going to ball. So watch out for Jamal Murray. But at the end of the day, so far the Nuggets look good. And I look like a dumbass. But like I said, do not jump to conclusions on this team. It's only been four games in. And even though the pieces look good on the defensive side of the ball, do you trust Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, Will Barton, Gary Harris, and Trey Lyles, and all these other pieces that are horrible on the defensive side of the ball to consistently keep this up? Because I just realistically cannot see that happening. But you guys let me know in the comment section what you think about this video, what y'all thought about the Nuggets so far this NBA season. If you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong, look, I'm not saying the Nuggets are not going to make the playoffs now because that was my original prediction. But I'm just saying, let's not overreact to just four games. If it's 25 games in, then I'll come and make a video about how I was wrong, if I am wrong at that point in time. But you guys let me know in the comment section once again. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell next to my name to be notified about every single video that I post. Also, you guys drop a like. Drop a like. Let's try to get this video to about, let's say 500 likes. All right, let's try to do that. 500 likes is the goal. And follow me on Twitter. All social media will be down below. Y'all have a great day. I'm out. Peace.